What's up guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. Today we're going to take a look at this video called The Evolution of the Predator Animated by Tell It Animated. Now, um, I personally have never seen the movies ever, nor do I want to. But um, I did see uh, some clips of it with my dad. Well, before uh, he died. R.I.P. R.I.P. But, um, ladies and gentlemen, so, um, so yeah, in case if you guys didn't know, uh, my dad died, it, it, it was really sad. But, um, I did see, but before uh, he did, like, when I was younger, he used to uh, show me, he used to uh, show me, uh, like, a Predator, um, like, some scenes from the Predator movie, and, like, some, uh, and also seeing, like, the behind-the-scenes material, it, it, it was really cool. So, uh, so, I figured, so I figured, um, that maybe, so I figured, uh, that since it's October and it's spooky season, I thought that would be fun to watch The Predator, well, the animated version of the, well, the evolution version, because I personally have never, um, seen how The Predator had actually changed, but apparently he has changed a lot. So, I figured uh, that Tell It Animated should give us the answers. So, without the way, let's go ahead and see the evolution of the Predator. Let's get it. Of course, with a beautiful intro. The Predator is the perfect hunter. Oh, every Predator is born equal. From oh my goodness. And beyond, that other one looked crazy, man. The Predator first appears in 1987's Predator, featuring his trademark dreadlocks, silver armor, advanced... Okay, so now this right here, I'm assuming that this is the very first Predator, and that is the Predator that my dad showed me, pretty much. I mean, like, that is uh, the Predator right here, but, um, it's a... Uh, and I'm not... He's not bad, I would say that. He's he's pretty he looks pretty cool. And by the way, I mean like that movie was made in 1987. So it was um it, it was some pretty recent. So thermal vision and cloaking abilities. I do remember they did, they had cloaking abilities. Going head to head with their major. After revealing his large noseless face with distinct <laughs> mandibles, he gets hit by Oh yeah, that one was creepy. I remember seeing that. A new, more colorful predator with bronzed armor. A colorful face, one. Shown, is steeper and heavily fanged. <laughs> after getting mixed up in it. Okay, now this one. Okay, now this one right here. I did not remember seeing this one, but uh, I'm like I have seen some clips of this predator, and uh, he does look up uh, pretty cool. However, I don't think uh, he was this bright of a color, but uh. I mean, like, it's it's still very cool. I mean, like, I'll give it to that. I mean, it's still s extremely amazing. Drug war, I like it. Him down and takes him I mean, out. like, his forehead his grew. I don't know how that happened. That green plan. predator is crazy. The lieutenant with an antique pistol hey, for old, a fair fight. the oldest the predator? Film, what in the world? Features three heavily armored Alien vs. Predator, yep, I do know that. A pack of xenomorphs and an ancient rite of passage. Well, two of the predators are taken out. Oh quickly. man! The third one manages to defeat the Xenomorph. I love, I love that. Victory, leaving him exposed to that predator is pretty armor. much the and same. Unarmed, the predator teams up with a young woman to take down a queen Xeno. I do, I do remember that scene from the movie, by the way, because I remember when, because I remember uh, that my dad, um, he did show me the scene, and that scene looked absolutely insane. I loved it. It was a it was such a good fight. In battle. A cape he got wounded? Oh, man. Alien weapon. The predator's body is then put on a ship have... where it gives birth to the Bredalian chest burster. Ooh, that chest burster looks crazy. 
now fully grown. What? That, causes the ship to crash that back thing on looks crazy, the man. Escape, a grizzled and scarred predator sets out to confront the That thing looks problem. crazy, but man. Means doesn't really matter because the government nukes the city. The government? What in the world? The predator franchise carries on with predators, I didn't know that. In which a group of criminals are dropped onto an alien group planet of to terrorists? be hunted. Their opponents include a pair of tracking hounds. Uh, what? what? I mean, predator hounds. Okay, um, I, I did like the, uh, the joke, but those predator hounds right there, um, those, those things look terrifying, man. I'm like, look at these things. I mean, guys, just, just imagine one thing. I'm like, you're literally just, I'm like, go, you're literally just taking, like, your daily walk and all that, and then you see these two things. What would you do? My opinion, I would just run up out of there. I'm just kidding. They will probably I'm like catch up to me, but you know what I mean. A tusk tracking predator. It gets taken Ooh, out by this, that's a cool predator too. A predator with mechanical spying okay. As of right now, this predator that's my favorite. A large leader predator with a giant I take it all back. That is my favorite. That is pretty classic looking. By a pair of hardened criminals. What? In the latest sequel, a shiny armored predator is knocked out and examined by a lab, which determines what in the world he's got metal armor. He wakes up from the examination and sets of out course. on a kill spree, only to be assassinated by a giant. Okay, okay, got. I did not know that they made this thing. Like that thing right there. Um, that that is big. Like I'm not, like compare it to. Like, this is a very good size comparison right here. You've got the predator, uh, the actual predator on that side. And then you got the giant one. I mean, like, the giant one is slightly bigger, but... Jeez. DNA splice predator, that thing, is, that thing looks... He snatches an autistic Those are crazy hounds, arm. man. But after losing his arm, he gets taken down by an explosion and a round of bullets. <laughs> oh confirming my that goodness. No extra DNA to an already perfect hunting creature. Thank True. For watching, subscribing, and hitting the okay, well, that was the ending of, um, of that video. Now we're going to be looking at this one called The Evolution of the Xenomorph Animated. And it's by, well, the same creator. So let's see um, the evolution of the xenomorph. Unraveling the xenomorph life cycle is quite the task. From the facehuggers to the mysterious black goo, let's piece this puzzle yep, that, together. I do the remember that. Alien film depicts the xenomorph beginning its life cycle as yep. a fleshy egg. Which, yep, the eggs. I do remember that. Facehugger that attaches itself to. I've never seen the movie, face. but the face I have go. seen but clips of it. The chest breaks through from the chest of the. I do remember that. In a few hours, the chest burster grows into the biomechanical-looking xenomorph with a translucent. I do. I do like it. Jaw. It's a real. The sequel, Alien. I do like Gone that xenomorph. Heads and extra defense appendage. Okay, okay. That that xenomorph right there, that that is crazy, man. I I kinda like that xenomorph. But um it's not my favorite. It's on their arms. A queen alien is also depicted in this film. Yep, there's an alien queen. Every few seconds. An alien three, that thing looks giant. As a host, dog or an ox. Xenomorph. This Zeno is the first to appear noticeably like oh, biomechanical. Oh, this, this that Zeno looks pretty. That Zeno looks teams. pretty good. Head, I kind of, I kind of like it. Alien resurrection. Not bad. Xenomorphs with longer tails and arms, perfect for What in the world? This man can swim. A pale alien human clone hybrid. Okay, okay. What kind of a monstrosity is that? I'm like. That thing is creepy, man. I mean, I I do remember that. I mean, um, if you don't know what the name is, it's called Newborn. I I'm pretty sure. But that right there, um, that that is that is terrifying. I never want to see that ever again. Good. <laughs> Thank you, ma'am. Yep, alien versus predator. predator. We've seen that time, in the other video. That that predator is looks crazy looking. Who's muscular? Xenomorphs have ridged heads again. The predalien chest burster from yep. the previous film matures, resulting in an alien. Okay, now we could probably. Okay, now this is what we uh, should have done in the in the predator video. But I wanted to want to leave it right here because um but but that thing right there um 
I think as of right now, I think this thing is probably my most favorite Xenomorph, I, I'm pretty sure. I'm mean, like, we haven't seen the rest of them, but uh, that thing right there... So far, I like that one. In these crossover films, that one's there cool. Been an ongoing fight between predators and aliens since Egyptian times, which what? contradicts the following film's timeline. So, it uh, let's forget about that. The prequel <laughs> from Atheist Where the fort come from? Engineers and black goo, which can alter DNA in mysterious What kind ways. of a snake and creature was that? It's a hold of the goo and uses it to infect us. David, yep. I do know him. And creates the <laughs> premature squid-like trilobite. The trilobite grows and uses yep, engineer the trilobite producing a smooth alien called a deacon. Okay, now the deacon right here, you I guess you wouldn't exactly classify it as a xenomorph, but um I mean it is cool, I'll give it that, but um it's not really I'm exactly classified as a xenomorph, so I don't think uh, you would the prequel sequel, so I don't know why it's even there in the first place, by the way. Creating egg sacs. When Alien sacs Covenant, yep. Yep, I have seen uh, trailers of it, and, it, and that's creepy. Yeah, I remember when I was little and I was terrified of that. Okay, yep, Th this thing right there, um, I have nothing else to say. It just look. this thing reminds me of the Deacon, but just bit, but just wider and taller. I mean, like, that. It just looks like the Deacon to me. I mean, it's... Meanwhile, the android David that's what it looks like to me. I don't know. Group, mixing it with human cells and other mystery pieces to make his xenomorph egg sac and face hugger. He finds a human host, and soon this a thing. tiny, nearly fully formed version of the xenomorph bird. Okay. You know, look, look at this thing, guys. Look at this tiny little xenomorph. That right there, I mean, uh, yeah, I mean, I remember when I first saw that... Like, this xenomorph, like, popping out of the, this guy, the guy's chest. And that, yeah, I, I didn't like it. I did, I did not like it. That was terrifying, man. It grows into a thin and more organic. Okay, yep. The, the, I, I take that back. That thing is, I'm like, the, the, I'm like, um, the, this what we should have unpaused, man. Over here. We've got, like, the protomorph, I'm pretty sure. But that right there, um, r remember how I said, um, that, that the, um, that the Predalien, that thing, is, that thing is my favorite? I lied. That, that right there, that is my most favorite Xenomorph, alright? I'm, alright, I'm counting it. I, I claimed it, alright? I claimed it. Leading many to call this a protomorph, but whether yep, I, yep, yep, okay, blood blood yep, I was, I was right. Isn't known. What we do know is that Ridley Scott will surely release Scott. a film that changes the life cycle yet again, rendering a Whoa. video completely worthless. Thank completely you for worthless. This animation. And guys, that is where we're gonna end today's video. So guys, let, so guys, let me know down in the, so guys. So, that is the entire evolution of Xenomorphs and Predators. So, guys, if you guys have enjoyed today's video, then hit that like button, also that subscribe button, if you haven't yet. And also the notification bell. And I will see you guys in tomorrow's video. Thank you guys so much for watching with me. I love you guys. Goodbye.